folks. This week's blog is a video blog, probably a two-parter, about some of the latest uh, hijinks surrounding our favorite uh, subject of mirth, Frank Dukes. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Frank Dukes is a uh, mediocre martial artist who makes rather large claims, tall tales you may say. He claims to have been trained from a child by a mysterious ninja master called Senzo Tanaka. He claimed that he fought in a underground, no hold bar death match called the Kumite, which was the basis of the movie Bloodsport, starring John Glon Van Damme of the Splits. And he also claims to have worked for William Casey, head of the CIA, as a secret agent, doing various nefarious deeds in the name of the US government around the world. Now, one of the problems with uh, Frank is that a lot of these stories seem to just like not pan out. You might even dare say blow up in his face. And at that point, he starts talking about conspiracies against him. You know, it's not that he misled people, it's because someone did something to make him look bad or stole some evidence that really did exist at one point, whatever. Um, for example, with the Kumite, you know, blood sport thing, you know. A uh, reporter in the LA Times found out that the trophy that he claimed he got from it was actually from a place just down the road from Frank. Frank took him to court, lost, and now it seems that Frank is saying something along the lines that, you know, the reporter for the LA Times was having an affair with his wife and wanted to destroy him, something like that. Hmm. Uh, in regard to the CIA claims, of course, the CIA went to the extraordinary step. They usually don't say anything, but they came out and said, nope, has nothing to do with us. He is complete, that story is complete bollocks, as the guys in the UK might say. Frank's response is that, you know, he uncovered un corruption of some sort in the US government. The US government is out, out to get him. Yes, the US government doesn't just deny things. They just, they go after people that have absolutely no sins that they've done. They just do this just because Frank pissed them off. Well, so Frank Dukes has teamed up with someone named Frank Parlato, who runs a uh, little, some people have called it a rag, but it's kind of a newspaper called Art Voice as well as Niagara, something or other. And Frank Parlato is, looks like he's going to be facing jail if he gets convicted. Over a, over a decade in jail, maybe. Prison. So uh, now, uh, you know, we, and Frank Perlato's excuse seems to be that the government is out to get him for something, and you know they're prosecuting him, and this is all set up and all that. He's even like have reporters of his write articles about how the government is targeting him in the newspaper he controls. Now the ethics of this, you know, at hitting the jury pool with these stories is, I would say, questionable at best. You know, you, you, you make all these stories and stuff like that, and you, you target the jury pool that will be you know, judging you. This is not really ethical, in my opinion. And, of course, Frank Dukes, being a, kind of a little expert on you know, government corruption and the government going off after you because you do the right thing, is also writing things. Now, in return, Frank Perlato has written a, uh, a story about Frank Dukes claiming to have verified his story. And uh, this is kind of like uh, the big thing that Frank Dukes is saying, hey, an independent journalist has verified what I say. I have been vindicated, blah. Well, okay, let's look at, basically it's the whole thing about Senzo Tanaka. Senzo Tanaka, of course, was the teacher that Frank Dukes claims was his teacher. Now, if you're not familiar with Japanese names, you should know that Tanaka is about as common as Smith, and in the early 20th century, Senzo was as common a child's name as Chris is now. So we're looking at Chris Smith. Now, the, you might have heard this if you read Ian Fleming's novels, James Bond, You Only Live Twice, which introduced the ninja to a lot of people, because there's a character in there named Senzo Tanaka. He's also called Tiger Tanaka, and he is head of the Japanese intelligence service. Wow, what a coincidence. One would be tempted to say that Frank Dukes read the novel and decided to use a name for his fictional teacher. Uh, but in response, Frank Dukes' story 
is that, well, actually, Ian Fleming, who did serve in the intelligence service of the United Kingdom, actually knew his teacher, Senzo Tanaka, and decided to use his name for the novel. Now, if you ever do a search of anything of Senzo Tanaka, you're going to get two sources. It's either going to go back to Frank Dukes or it's going to go back to Ian Fleming. It's the same thing for Japanese. Um, you know, Senzo Tanaka is a common name, but again, there's nothing that I've been able to find in any Japanese source saying that this guy was a spy. This guy had anything to do with the service. This was really a case of um, you know, Ian Fleming coming up with the name and that's it. The alternative is that Ian Fleming, again, trained as an intelligence server and trained to keep secrets, blew the name of somebody that he knew uh, and public, which would just be a huge breach of a lot of things, ethics, he, you know, uh, protocol, you know, Japan was an ally of the UK at that time, not, not, not cool. So you got on one side, you got, you know, either Frank Dukes read a novel, chose the name Senzo Tanaka to use for his teacher, and is just BSing the world, or Ian Fleming knew something that nobody else did, the name, went public with it, and, you know, he, he that, those are the two things. Now, which do you think is the most likely? Yeah, me too. So, this is the situation with Senzo Tanaka, is that Frank Deuce is claiming that Senzo Tanaka existed and taught him. Frank Parlato is has written a story saying that Senzo Tanaka's claims and existence has been verified. Well, again, Chris Smith, you know, how many Chris Smiths can you find? So if he's found someone named Chris Smith that actually exists and actually died, that's no big a thing. But there's no evidence at all that anyone named Senzo Tanaka was within 50 feet of Frank Dukes at any point. Nobody's trained with him, nobody can verify his story. I mean, this is a guy that basically just showed up, according to Frank's story, only showed himself to Frank Dukes, and nobody else around there knows, oh yeah, you know, this such, you know, all the stories go back to Dukes or his followers in some way. So, that's the situation. Now, next one I'm going to deal with a little incestuous triangle and some of the latest mm, hijinks that amuse me so much. But because I, I want to keep this under 10 minutes apiece, I'll cut it off here. Stay tuned.